yeah hi hello everyone this is shanmugaraj welcome to my channel uh, one of the aims of this channel is to build a global knowledge sharing platform in the domains of leadership agile and project management you can join me and help me with that uh, either by subscribing to this channel or sharing my videos to our friends right so having said that let us get into today's topic we are currently discussing some of the leadership ideas uh, from MID Sloan School of Management. Uh, today's topic is a framework for assessing AI risk. This special article has been published in MIT in this month, 3rd, 2024. Why it matters? A framework based on uh, red light, yellow light, green light approach can help companies streamline AI governance and decision making while it's easy to get swept up in many promises of artificial intelligence there are mounting concerns about its safety and biases uh, medical algorithms have exhibited bias that impacts disadvantaged populations similarly a enabled uh, recruiting tools as well a facial recognition has led to wrongful arrest and generative AI has the tendency to hallucinate or make things up. So these scenarios highlight the importance of taking a proactive approach to AI governance to set the stage for positive research. While some technologies can be implemented and revisited periodically, responsible AI requires a more hands-on governance approach right a governance start at the earliest stage of development and be reinforced with uh, constant tending and evaluation the promise of AI is super amazing but in order to get there uh, there is going to need to be some hovering the adoption of AI governance early ensures you can catch things like AI not identifying dark skin or uh, a ushering in cyber attacks in that way you protect your brand and have the opportunity to establish a trust with your customers employees and business partners shelton uh, alizic the author of new book uh, trust responsible ai innovation privacy and data leadership outlined a framework for assessing and addressing a risk that is based on early drafts of uh, proposed legislation around the world red light yellow light and green light gate post governments in 78 countries across six continents have worked with research scientists and others to develop draft legislation aimed at making a safe though the work is still evolving nevertheless as companies move ahead with AI initiatives and proper governance they need to categorize the risk level for their intended AI use cases. See, propose a red light, yellow light, and green light framework based on the proposed legislation to help companies streamline AI governance and decision making. Red light use cases prohibited. Legal frameworks have identified 15 cases in which AI should be prohibited. For example, AI should not play a role in surveillance related to the exercise of democratic values like voting or in continuous surveillance in public spaces. Remote biometric monitoring is also frowned upon as is social scoring, whereby social media activity could be used as part of decision making for a loan or insurance. For example, governments don't want private companies doing this because there's a risk of too much harm green light use cases low risk these cases such as a is used in chatbots uh, a general customer service product recommendations or uh, uh, video games are generally considered fair game and at low risk for bias or other safety factors so many of these examples have been used safely for several years. The third category is yellow light use cases, a high risk one. Most types of AI fall in this category. 
these cases are where most companies are at risk and governance is to put to the test. There are nearly 140 examples of yellow light AI cases, including using AI in HR applications, uh, family planning and care, surveillance, democracy and manufacturing, evaluating credit worthiness, managing investment portfolios, or underwriting financial instruments are uh, just a few examples of high risk use of AI for financial applications. How to navigate high risk AI? Once a use case is determined to be in the high risk or a yellow light category, companies should take following precautions, which are drawn from the European Union Artificial Intelligence Act and the technical companion of the White House's blueprint for an AI Bill of the Rights. The first one is ensure that there is a high quality, accurate data. Data must be accurate organizations must have the rights to use it and the materials needs to be relevant. The second step is uh, embrace uh, continuous testing. Organizations need to commit to pre and post deployment continuous testing for algorithmic bias and accuracy to ensure safety, prevent privacy or uh, cyber security breaches and ensure compliance. A needs to be watched because it can drift or hallucinate you don't you don't want to wait for a headline to appear and your company is you know uh, a bus match by a efforts so we can get ahead of this by simply having uh, continuous testing monitoring and auditing third step is allow for human oversight if earlier steps reveal deviations from the expectations enlist humans to correct the model and mitigate the risk right the final step could be create fail safes. The company needs to make it clear that an uh, AI use case will be halted if deviations cannot be effectively corrected. AI governance is a team sport and uh, the right stakeholders and team members need to be involved and the board of directors, the general counsel and CEO must be kept informed at every step. Uh, rather than wait until the laws are final, which will probably be a couple of years from now, uh, uh, there's no need to build AI without these guardrails. They enable companies to have viability or visibility into what's going on and ensure that their AI efforts live up to the expectation without fines, brand damage and worse, right? So with this, we come to the conclusion of uh, this particular video. Hope you guys got a better understanding uh, about how we can go about categorizing uh, risks of artificial intelligence uh, uh, solutions or a product right so certain areas like red light use cases will be prohibited so green light areas like chat gpt or you no know, recommendations can be continued it's a low response but where companies need to focus on yellow category ideas where the risk is very high it might damage your brand there might be a litigation right if it is not properly done we also talked about four important steps how to navigate this a risk right identifying the right use cases getting the data right accurate data right and have a continuous testing and have a human intervention ensure that you know the data is correct a is giving a right solution right if something is deviating don't even deploy that That's, these are the four ideas you know uh, we got from this article of mit right i hope you guys like this kind of videos that helps you to become a better leader in your organization right so with that i'm signing off see you in the next video